guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Yang reading for May the 31st until June the 8th. I am using um, Dorian Virtue's Romance Angel cards. I just picked those up and I'm absolutely in love with them. I'm getting a lot of great messages with them. Um, so I think what I'll do is a split uh, yin yang. So I'll pull the cards and then we'll go through the positions. Yeah, I can probably move these over a little bit more. my smaller deck here just in case I want to pull some clarifiers. This is the basic reading so I want to keep it as short as possible and I will be pulling um, three clarifiers per position and probably doing some reading in the extended version and the link will be below. Okay so let's look at the overall energy. Why is it sticky there? Oh there's some tape. Okay. Okay nice engagement so this is a, a promise of commitment your love life has ascended to higher levels of commitment so this is realizing who your soulmate is realizing who you love and you want to deepen that bond with a commitment so this is the energy that you're going to be in um, for the next week and it's a very cool synchronicity because if you watch the uh, June uh, monthly energy reading as well as the recent twin flame reading that I just put out um, that goes with this reading obviously it's you were really in a space of love for the month of June um, and so this card is definitely reflecting that energy all right so how do you feel about yourself masculine this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so um, the way that you feel about yourself is you're posing a question, right? Um, you want to make a move. You want to take action. Um, but you're just not too sure, right? Is, is this the person? Is this the one? You know, my true love. Um, so this card is, um, validates that they are your twin flame. So it's a nudge. Uh, from the universe to go ahead and, um, you know, take action, uh, express your feelings, um, have those honest communication, you know, conversations. And, uh, yeah, so you're in a space of love and you want to express that love and the universe is giving a nudge. Okay, so how do you feel about the uh, feminine pay attention to red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So this energy of questioning, um, feeling like you're being deceived, that's all coming from the feminine side in the readings. And so the way you're viewing the feminine is with this energy. It's like um, you feel that the feminine is guarded, that she's questioning your motives. Um, you know, she may not feel like she can trust you. Um, so yeah, obviously this block needs to be released and that's probably why you're kind of holding back on making that move forward. So how do you feel about the relationship? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So 
this talks about um, codependent relationships, you know, somebody who is um, dependent on either you financially or emotionally, you know, that this doesn't really talk about a loving relationship. This talks about a chain holding you back. But more importantly, this card talks about addictions. And this was in the near future position for the Twin Flame reading. Okay, so this is how you view the relationship that there are addictions and codependent relationships, possibly a karmic partner that is, is holding you back from fully embracing um, this connection. Okay, so you may, may be in a space where you feel a lot of emotions and you might want to numb those emotions, you know, with... Um, substances or, or, you know, behavior, unhealthy behavior. Um, so I'm going to actually pull one clarifier. So I'm just going to pull from the top of the deck since we already shuffled. Ace of Cups. So you want a new beginning. You want to make a, a commitment. You want to express your, your love, right? And that's what this card is saying. It's, you know, it's a new beginning of love. It is, it, it comes with conditions. It means that you have to let go of the past. You need to forgive yourself, forgive others, and be truly open to receive love in your life. And because it's not the main energy card, it's, it's um, a confirmation card. It's telling me that this potential, potential is there. Um, but these addictions are affecting your love life. And codependent relationships are addictions as well. So what do you fear to love? This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. So you fear that this connection um, is your true love partner and you're not making a move or you fear making a move. You know, you've placed them on this pedestal. Um, to you, they represent everything you've ever desired. And so that could be a bit intimidating. Um, again, this is confirmation that it is your soulmate, your true love. Embrace it. Don't be afraid. So your, an your question keeps being answered over and over and over again. So what do you want? You want separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you want to break the link. Um, you want to free yourself from, you know, the addiction, the codependency, that negative energy. This could also be a low self-image as well. Um, maybe you feel too much time has passed um, and you've changed on the external. But, you know, true twin flame connections, the love doesn't change no matter how much you change on the outside. So... Yeah, never be afraid of that. And what will you get? Express your love. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Make the romantic gesture. Boom. Is it the one? Yes, it is. Now, pay attention to the red flags. Also talks about pay attention to somebody else's behavior. So watch how they treat, you know, um, some people who work at a restaurant or a valet or what have you. Okay, if they're rude, if they're um, abrupt, if they cut people down, then you, that shows their true colors, right? Um, now, this energy is looking at the relationship. Like, if you look at this card here, it looks like they're looking at the relationship and there is a connection between the two. So there is an observer energy, um, something standing in the way you needed the answer to your question you've got it three times um do whatever you need to do to detach yourself from you know this whatever that is and express your love go ahead make that gesture um express your emotions if you're afraid to express your emotions because if you look at this car this masculine energy is kind of ho holding back if you're afraid to express your, your emotions, that's a blockage. And the only way to get through it is to go deep. 
go deep, feel where the resistance is, you know, where is this anxiety, this tension coming from? And once you identify it, then you can work through it. Okay, so if you want romance in your life, you need to feel deep emotions. And also, you need to feel romantic, right? You're the one that benefits from a romantic relationship um, because you're the one feeling it, right? And so it's an it's um, also an addictive energy because if you are exuding this positive energy, then people are going to pick up on it. And, you know, um, through the law of attraction, you, you attract that romantic partner into your life. So it goes both ways, right? You need to give love in order to get love. So go ahead and make that, take that step. Very clear message very similar message to what I was getting in the uh, Twin Flame reading and the monthly reading for June, so you might want to check those out. I'll try to link them up below. So let's pull one card from, let's see here, let's do, call it Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So just one final message, please. What important message do you have for the masculine? chop wood. So what I'm feeling with this is that separation. Cut the things that are out of, you know, cut things out of your life that is holding you back, tying you down. Um, clean house. So let me read that to you. Okay, so... Being grounded in, er in everyday experience, humility. Nothing as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. This is a perfect time now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire. Read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work just to be all is well, really. Okay, so this wasn't about cutting. It, even though it says chop wood, um, I think that's just, you know, engaging in the action of chopping wood. Just the simple pleasures in life. So the mask, or sorry, the universe is telling the masculine that, um, you know, don't stress. Um, everything doesn't have to be hard won, right? So just chillax a little bit. Um, you know, maybe ask the feminine out on a date, go for a walk. You know, you don't have to win her over, that kind of thing, right? Just, just be, just um, be in each other's energy appreciate each other all right so i hope this helps and i'm sending massive love your way all right cheers